Right now I'm assembling the rear leaf springs for Cook 70 Barracuda. They're all powder coated, so all we have to do is put our little slips on here so everything will function properly, nice and quiet. This is our center spacer, which is basically galvanized tin, and they go in the center between each spring so that we have no metal-to-metal -metal contact when everything is bolted together. Okay, this is our rear shackle. It goes through the rear of the spring. This is part right here that goes through the uh, rear frame rail that attaches everything to the car. And that's designed to move so that it allows the rear suspension to travel. So this one's done, I'll go ahead and I'll do the next one and then I'll roll it over to the housing and we'll get her bolted up and put her underneath the car. So I gotta set the third member on here, bolt it up and then press a couple bearings on and put the axles in and then get the brakes done. My favorite rear axle to work on is the eight and three quarter Mopar, it's so simple. You've got a third member carrier, you bolt it into the housing, it's got the sure grip and the gears, everything's in it. You slide the left axle in, you slide the right axle in, you bolt them down, and all of a sudden you've got a, a rear end assembly. It's a very nice system, it's bulletproof. You finish putting your leaf springs on it, detail it out, and you're ready to bolt it in the car. And that's about it. Tighten everything up over there, and we are uh, ready to do brakes. <laughs>